Hey guys, today I'd like to share my uh, radar system uh, for free with the community. This is uh, the same radar that I'm using for my uh, space shooter template and it is heavily, uh, heavily uh, based on this tutorial uh, from the shooter game tutorial series here that you see on the screen. So um, please do click on, on the link, I'm going to put a description below and do support this dev uh, for giving so much to the community but I took this basic tutorial and I added a few things myself uh, which I think is um, kind of cool and I, I like to share this project with the community for free so if I just click play here you'll see this is the basic uh, flying Templar from Epic and you can see let me maximize here you have a few different icons on the screen um, you have flying enemies which are the little red arrows um, you have uh, the little triangles which are the ground enemies you can see these are supposed to be turrets you have the yellow circles which are pickups and if I just fly up here you'll see that there's a little pickup here and the B is for a boss character this is uh, quite simple to implement uh, it's very very easy for any type of project it doesn't have to be a flying uh, game or a space shooter game it can be any type of project You'll also notice that for the flying enemies, I have two different icons. Uh, with the green circle, it means that the flying enemy is below you. And the blue circle means that the flying enemy is above. And you can see, if I start flying up, those blue circles become green. So you can see on the, on the radar screen there. Okay, so how do you implement this? Uh, everything is on this folder called Radar here. Um, and all it is is uh, it's a component based blueprint that you can drop on pretty much any object or actor on your screen so let's just quickly create another pickup here I'm just going to drag a sphere and I'm going to just put the little uh, material here and all you have to do is drag the component blueprint into uh, into the components panel here for the object and you can see you have a little drop down here and you can select which category um, it is flying enemy ground boss and pickup and all of this is is just an enum so you can add as many categories as you want and once you look at the code um, then you'll see how easy it is so then you select the category pickup and that is literally it you hit click play and you can see now that we have uh, another pickup right here on the screen if you want to change it all you have to do is literally go to the to the uh, drop down and change the category I, I put this as a boss character and as soon as I hit play you can see that it's now displaying a boss character on the map that is pretty much it is as easy as that uh, anything that you want tracked on the map you just add the, the component blueprint here um, and as far as the textures they're all simple sprites so if you wanted to replace any of these textures all you have to do is uh, replace it with with a texture with the same dimensions these are 250 by 250 so just literally just replace this texture leave the name and then the icons will change for the map so that's pretty much it again heavily based on the shooter tutorial uh, I just added a few things and I figured this would be helpful uh, for anybody else that's been trying to do something like this uh, so hope you like it and let me know what you think thanks a lot